steps to find out what the problem is. So, um, yeah, first we'll start with the electrical. Uh, yeah, just start by with the spark plugs, then spark plug wires, and basically eliminate all the way down all your electrical components. And um, yeah, we have a more detailed video on that um, that we did a little while ago. You can see it on our channel. So uh, next we'll be doing it about um, curbs and E5. And yeah, related fuel problems and stuff. So I'll start off with the EFI, um, and then Hendrik will explain the curb rating system. So the EFI is obviously electrical uh, that is included with that. So you have a lot more components than with just the curb rating. Um, so starting off with some simple diagnosis with an um, EFI that you're not get, uh, getting fuel into your combustion chamber. So you have spark and you don't know what else it is. So you plug that um, compression tester in there. You just want to make sure you have compression because that could also be a big problem. Um, so compression test on two strokes, it's very simple. If you have low, then you know it's a piston ring because there's no valves in the two stroke. So um, then you know it's a piston ring, so you'll get new piston rings. Um, um, in a four stroke, they have uh, valves too, so it can either be your piston rings or your valves. So then you should probably check that out. So uh, going on to fuel again with EFI, um, obviously you need a battery to inject your fuel. So check if your battery's charged. If you know it's all good, then just go on to your next. Uh, your fuse is over here. I'll show you a quick sec. Uh, this fuse box should be something like that in there. Let's pop this open. And those fuses there, one of them might be blown. So you should just, um, there are a dime a dozen, so you just pop a new one to that. And if that's not a problem, then what you're gonna do is start going into your carburetor that is obviously injected by electrical, um, yeah. So then you go into that, your fuel injectors might be clogged or dirty from sitting over summer. Um, so you take those out, clean them, um, or get new ones if they're bad, too bad to fix. Uh, just a tip on keeping those clean, empty your fuel lines uh, during the summer to prevent that. I'm not doing that right now, but it should be fine because <laughs> I'm going to start it up later. So, um, if that's all good, then it might be something else, such as like bad pressure or yeah. two strokes and whatever else. Um, your gas tank might be empty, so you make sure you check that. Cause that I, I, I know it's funny, but a lot of times people, they can't figure out why their, their engine's not starting. And, and all they got to do is look at that little gauge uh, right there. I know, it's kind of funny, but hey, it's a, it's a troubleshooting thing, so whatever. Um, going on to next, uh, you're, usually it, you can't adjust that yourself, how much fuel you get in and how much air, but um, you have to check that out maybe, because you might be too rich or too lean, so you can check that out. Um, probably get an owner's manual, get your owner's manual, check into that, it'll probably give you some uh, specs on what to, how to change that and keep it up to um, good running condition. So I think that's probably about it on that. Uh, just make sure that, yeah, there's probably a lot of other electrical that could be involved in that. But just make sure your reed valves, valves where your fuel comes into your crankcase, um, those are also not dirty or clogged, because that could also be a problem. Um, your air box is clean, make sure that's clean. It's probably good better not to get dirt into that because that can probably yeah, especially if I because you can mess up your um, injectors and all that stuff. So we'll probably go on to carburetor systems now. Um, we'll have to talk about that. So um carburetor systems are uh, basically a lot, obviously a lot simpler in EFI. So um, troubleshooting techniques on this um, you can look at your pilot screws. Um, yeah, it can either, either be too rich, which is too much fuel and um, not enough air in your mixture. And um, lean, you can have too much air and not enough fuel in your mixture. Um, you can look in your manual, of course, and see the proper measurements on that. Uh, yeah, your fuel injectors or your um, bowl in your car can be very dirty. So you might want to clean that. And um, if it's like very bad, probably use a car cleaner. And, um, yeah, choke, you might be getting too much fuel, so probably check the choke on that, and again, check your gas. 
my god, how many kids? Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah, yeah. your airbox. Yeah. Yeah, if there's rust in there or anything and that gets sucked into your engine, then your wreck your engine pretty good. So. And also your injectors, again, uh, carburetors do have uh, just the normal venturi. Uh, make sure that's not clogged. Maybe go into your carburetor, the venturi, the adjustable. When you pull your throttle, that open and closes to let more fuel in air. Yeah. Um, check that. Make sure, again, use carb cleaner for that. Um, your flow uh, bowl where your fuel sits in before it goes into your carburetor, that could be off, so the adjustment could be off, so you might have to look into that, maybe get a new carb if you don't know what's wrong. Yeah, it's just simple. You check the fuel line, make sure there's no uh, holes in them, because that could be a big leak somewhere. And, and make sure your shut off valve is open. Yeah. So, I think that's about it. Maybe there's some more things that we've forgotten. It's pretty basic though, um, how to figure that out. It's probably just air comes in, mixes the fuel, goes into your engine. So there's obviously one of those things that um, are gonna be not working so that your engine's not gonna be started. So it's either your air is not coming in um, or you got not getting enough fuel or both can't get in because there's something wrong with your injectors or revalves or just your basic um, engine procedures. Make sure you keep up maintenance on that, because that could also be a uh, problem with all that. Just regular maintenance of your carburetors and keeping them clean and just, yeah. Really so yeah, cool hopefully you haven't skipped already, but now comes the big part where we start up this beautiful 1995 Articat ZR580. We're going to start it up in just a moment. See you guys then. Oh yeah, let me start her up, do a quick uh, view of it, start her up. 